Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another part for the Persian campaign playing the New World mod for Rome 2 Total War. And yes, we are going to take the Armenian capital here this well this episode, not maybe this turn, but this episode certainly. And uh, well, I cannot wait to, well, take this and then kind of control Armenians in, in total really. We can then go on for Tushpa. And then Armasata, and we could possibly go up here and get these two settlements as well that Armenia does own. And then we will control a huge amount of land. And uh, while we're doing that, I'm going to try and keep appeasing these people in the east. But I am looking at getting ready to, well, start fighting the Seleucids and their, and their allies. Because, well, Egypt's getting close. <laughs> I just realized Egypt is very close uh, and he literally has a border with me now. So I need to be careful. Uh, I can't really afford to side with the Seleucids much longer. I may declare war, break away, and then... Well, we'll just fight for our lives, really. There's not much else we can do. Um, but yeah, we will see. So I'm going to end the turn. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to buy massively. I mean, let's just quickly have a look. The odds are pretty good. Um, I might just let it starve out as much as possible, though. Um, he does actually have an upgrade. Let's do that. Let's upgrade. Um, we could do campaign movement. What else have we got here? Siege. Uh, yeah, siegecraft. Let's of course let's get like siegecraft uh, up. So then that means that like turns take these places take longer to uh or well hold out if we're defending or in the case of attacking, they get taken a lot quicker. And yeah, I don't think there's anything I desperately want to buy. Yeah, bam. I could do with definitely holding Harmosia soon because I could do with uh, taking that. I could do with going after Artaquona as well. Uh, but can't really do anything about that. I'm going to try. Uh, maybe not. What about the other one? What if I assassinate you? Oh, yes. A good outcome of getting something on you. So we'll try and stab you or shoot you. Assassination failed. But it was a worthy attempt. So uh, there's still need to hand out some abilities. Okay, well, you can have um, have Age Retainer, and then you can become, uh, I think I'm going to make you a warrior. You can be a warrior. There you go, end the turn, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, Armenia does nothing, and it falls into my uh, trap of just surrendering in one turn. But we will see. I mean, it looks like Bactria's fallen back, which is great for us. Uh, the Deadlands Armenia is falling back. Excellent. They've got another stack coming up, which is a small one. Nothing that scary. Uh, it looks like none of the... I haven't seen any of the other, like, unusual factions a thing. I haven't seen, like, the Amazons. I haven't seen um, Atlantis, for instance. I haven't seen any of them, really. Obviously, I am in kind of like in the wrong part of the world. I have a attrition, but that is acceptable. Uh, population surplus, though, in Caucasia. I will take it. Minus three a turn, it currently is. Um, I kind of want to do something with industry. Caucasia is going to be my industry area. Why is public order so poor, then? Cultural differences. Eastern is going up, so that should change. Um, but I am going to make Caucasia, I think. Well, what's that? That's prison crew camp. Uh, it's not necessary, really. Yeah, I'm going to make an industry, like, hub here. One more turn till surrender. I mean, it's looking very nice here, so I might just take that. Storm the city. And we'll take Armavir. Here we go. We take it. And now we push. Oh, we lost some Spar Barra, but we can afford to. We can afford to. So, uh, I'm going to then just move on to Tushpa down here. And I will either just besiege it or... Yeah, it looks like I'm besieging it. Uh, yeah, I'll encircle for now. If they want to come out and attack me, they are more than welcome to. But I'm quite happy just to stay behind the walls. Um, really, I want you to go back to somewhere else and go and get me some, like, armor veer. Ooh, it's got some good stuff here. We've got, like, a canal. We've got a wrestling ring. I'll keep them. Um, Eastern is pretty high. But yeah, I kind of want to build a recruiting thing. A recruiting thing. Good, good, uh, like, description there, Pope. I know build a barracks is what I would like to do. 
I'd like to build a barracks and build a great army. Uh, the Scions of Xerxes. Well, it looks like there's got a re there's a rebel uprising going on over here. So I'm kind of want to let that happen. See if they'll take Harmosia. I doubt they will. I don't think slaves take cities. They just sort of sack them and do a lot of damage. But uh, we'll see. And um, I could build up an army here. This, I mean, we're up to 1700 now. It's pretty nice. Pretty handy. Not that you can really recruit anything useful. I mean, Farada can. I could actually move the army up. Move it to about here. I mean, I take. I don't actually take damage there. I don't take damage across any of this area. I'm going to do that. Uh, and I will recruit some better troops. I'm going to recruit some. I've got some already some Persian cavalry. Let's get some Median cavalry going. Uh, five units of cavalry should be ample. And we'll get ourselves another slinger since we're here. And then that's a sizable force that we can then link up with the Persian army here. And then we can go for Artaquona. Bam will obviously sort of rebel a bit, but we can deal with that. For, for a time anyway. But if you are enjoying the Let's Play at the moment and you'd like to see more of it, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and a comment to show your support. And yeah. We'll uh, keep it up, keep up all the support because uh, we are working towards a 2k face reveal uh, of my myself. Um, so if you'd like to see that, then, uh, well, hit that sub button if you haven't. And, uh, right, anyway, we have been attacked. Get back to the main point, Pope. We have been attacked. And I'm going to fight on the battlefield. I, I like our chances. They've got no cavalry. I have cavalry. And they have no Sparbara. I have Sparbara. So I'm going to... Probably just like I'm gonna sally out and faces in the field. Okay. Well, I can definitely deal with I can deal with that. Garrison army, they've got villages and uh they've got like axemen of their only decent units, but they, they got beaten back quite easy by Spar Barrett in the last episode. If you haven't seen that, there was some great sieges and a great battle in that, so I definitely will go and check that out. But uh I'll um I was about to say I'll uh, meet you on the battlefield in a moment, but it is about to load in. Um, so we should be okay. There we go. So, I mean, really, this should be pretty simple. We'll just make a, a center, a spar barra. I'll have my Persian brigade on the flank on each side. I'll have my general on one flank. Uh, let's actually, let's just stick all of that. Let's just drag that all back like so. So we can then put slingers archers out front. And there we go. We don't need to do anything else. We'll just wait for the enemy. I mean, these are all just awful units. I mean, they've got, like, Persian hoplites. They're okay. Uh, better against cav than possibly against infantry. Because, obviously, they're, like, a spear unit. I don't know how well they do against... Yeah, they're actually, they're high threat. Okay, they're medium threat to Sparbara. So, I mean, maybe this Persian hoplites are something to fear. But, I mean, these villages certainly aren't. Yeah, low threat, low threat. Yeah, shouldn't have to fear about them. Uh, I'm going to send my general. He's going to start going wide. Uh, hopefully the army does not lose uh, any sort of fear from that. But I mean, we'll have a look at some of these units. If you haven't seen them before, I'd definitely go and try out the, per uh, the, like, the Persian faction. And if you haven't even tried out the mod, go and try out the New World mod. Uh, but yeah, the Persian faction is very fun. I mean, they, they seem to be getting more and more added. I mean, like I love that the Sparbara now have like bows on their backs. And then they like get their spear and shield out. Not quite sure where their spear's hiding currently, but uh, they do get it out. <laughs> I can confirm that. And we'll just keep my general going around. While uh, these eastern archers here get in... Well, I'm going to run all these archers down, basically. That's what's going to happen. Uh, they've got a general here. Who wants he? Eastern axeman. Okay. I could form shield wall. I will in a moment. need to be careful. I might need to put my Persian Brigade actually stretch them out ever so slightly more. I've, give, I've given them far too much to do, really, but they better, they better get ready for the risks. Because there are a few. There are a few. Uh, it looks like this flank over here is seeing what's happening and doesn't really fancy uh, how to fight, basically. Um, I'm going to have to fall back all my archers. 
Well, I'd rather do that than um, them getting charged by Persian hotplate, so we'll do that for now. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, that's actually routing ones. We don't want to charge that. We'll just keep our general in behind. Here we go. The brace for impact men. We'll hold like that. If they're gonna just happily sit there, then uh, I won't worry about them too much. Let's see what they do. Let's just shoot their general a bit. See if that'll uh, wake them up. Here we go. Right, so my general's gonna go down here. I'm gonna come and attack these two units because they're pretty undefended. They've got a general here. But uh, I'm not too worried about that. My spar barrier seems to be doing okay. I mean, I don't know which one's fighting this one. It's combat even. That's fine. And here we go. The general, he's going to shoot on the move while he's supposedly charging into infantry. Into the archers. And then I'm going to charge into the rear of all of these guys here. Uh, once we've dealt with these archers. Yep. He is indeed. Uh, hold your fire. Start shooting those guys there. Here they come. They're going to now. They're going to come forward, right? Form shield wall. Form shield wall. Make the assault. So you get the charge bonus. And then I guess just all shoot at like this big blob of infantry that's being formed over here. And what to broke there? Oh, Eastern villages. Oh, that's really good that we broke them. First off, um, you can flank around them. We don't actually need to form shield wall with you. General charges in, he routes all them, and this is pretty easy. It's just a, it's just a garrison force, so why ever would it, this victory not be in doubt? Um, let's get the per these guys to charge them. Get the spar barrier to charge in. Into the rear. Excellent, excellent. What's the general doing? Oh, he's chasing down stuff that he shouldn't really be chasing down. Go and get them. Uh, shoot these guys, come on. And you shoot them. Uh, Persians, brigade, go in there. And there we go, we surrounded this lot entirely. And there's no way out. And there never will be. And you can be as elite as... Well, they're not even that elite of the Persian hot plights, but there. I think if they charge out then they're finished I don't think they can like ra rally I'm not sure we've killed a lot of them even if we uh, don't kill all these guys yeah I'm just gonna end the battle I'm not ready to fuss heroic victory I like lost what is it 200 men I killed over 1800 that's that's fine with me and uh, yeah we basically killed everything I think apart from like one axeman unit they're basically all finished I could assault next turn and we'll probably mop them up. I mean, what have we got? Like, some good kills. There's 384 with our general. That's very nice. Uh, Persian Brigade actually did get 214. They will have to get phased out at some point because I'd rather have Immortals than uh, Persian Brigade. But that's fine for now. I mean, Spar Barrow did well. They held the line. And Archers and Slingers did pretty well as well. And there we go. Uh, I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to kill the Caps. I don't really want to give them any more troops. And there, uh, I'll take it next turn. I've got this army coming over as well, so... We should be fine. Luckily, Egypt didn't do anything stupid, like coming and attacking me. But me taking that city uh, does risk there being more, uh, like more, more of a border with them. And there we go, Harmosia. There is pirates. That's very near me. Are there pirates? Are these supposed to be the pirates? These are slaves. They're certainly not pirates. But if there's pirates off here, that's not good for my trade. Uh, forgotten warriors uh, and in seasonal conditions. An early autumn. What does an early autumn do then for uh, minus? Does it actually cause public order damage? Okay, well, that's rude. That is rude. Um, right, I have an army here, which has needs. Um, I'm gonna put you there. I'm also gonna put you about there, and we're gonna wait. And um, we're gonna see where the battery, what battery does here. With these two armies now joined up, so that's good. Uh, Farada and Bam, they're doing their thing if they need to. I'm not going to attack anyone there, though. Um, the army here, it's pretty healthy. Could I take this? I could take this.
quite easily without any issues. I'm going to just... 86. There you go. Stab him through the face with an axe. Because that's how axes work. And then we'll just take it. And then uh, Tush is ours. I'm going to probably... I mean, this food thing is great. Gives me 16 food and furnace. That's great for... Like... Well, for that. Um, do I need, though, to have a town garrison? I don't know. I might... Hmm, I don't know. It's useful, actually, because it is a garrison, like, it's on the border, so I might actually keep that for now. But I would like to be building a popular, uh, like, a uh, recruiting thing here, because I don't want to have to keep going all the way back to Media Magna just to build infantry. Um, and I lost the Sparbara, so I'll replace the Sparbara. I think. Um, and I might, since uh, we can, merge some of these units here, and then we've got another one. And I think I'm going to get myself another little Amnite sword. So, that is fine. That's fine with me. Um, and I might just disband that. Um, attack a Barra and get myself another Spar Barra. There we go. Or Spar Barra, however you say it. Um, but you have upgraded. This army is also upgraded. We're going to do formidable fighters. Um, gives them more weapon damage. Uh, movement speed for cavalry. Yep. And then you can also have Strategist, please. Uh, you've got warrior as well, but you can also have strategist. And then you can work your way down there. Um, 1700 in money. That's great. Um, I could put in that. I mean, what does that do? There's more for wealth and more for replenishment. Yeah, sure, I'll have a better grain silo. Um, Perg one is now on my border. They also have silk. I could break away from Seleucids. Now it would be the time to do it. If I was going to do it at all. Um... But I kind of want to deal with the, I don't know, with these two regions here. I don't know. They just seem still a little strong. I mean, also, Dragonier is, like, really strong. It's got all of this over here. I mean, if I take Harmosia, and then I just, like, bottle up these guys, then they're pretty much safe. I might need to build another army just to keep an eye on Media. But, I mean, I've got the money. I could start to debate doing it. Um, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world we've got. No one in our family that we can really give any uh, command to, though. That's the issue. Uh, politics. We still control a lot of the politics, which is okay. I mean, we've got a lot of uh, loyalty. It's looking good. Um, so, I mean, I can take that. No issues there. And, uh, yeah, I think I'll just end the turn. I don't really want to build anything else. Oh, actually, I do want to build this. I do want to build... I'm going to build myself a stone quarry. And there we go. That is all my money spent for the first time in a long time, actually. I've been acquiring so much money in the treasury and slowly spending it. And there you go. It looks like Bactri is going to go south. And I'm fine with them going south. I will go north. And I will go and burn them. They have to uh, do themselves a lot of damage. It looks like Armini is moving an army north. And as is Pergamon moving one south. Dragonier is going to chase Bactria. I think that's what they were waiting on. That's what they, their entire like army just stood there was waiting on. Just what Bactria was going to do. Just a stupid idea. And Egypt's declared war on Saba. Or, well, they're called the Kingdom. Oh, no, they are just called Saba again. I swear they were called the Kingdom of the Sand at one point. But maybe not. Maybe not anymore. And there we go. We go back. The Lightbringers can go back there. I can send my spy out. I can go and see that army that we found. How large is this? It's a pretty large army, actually. Um, pretty much the same complement as the one that attacked um, Mitikesh or whatever it's called. I will sabotage you. Slow this army down. Did succeed. Uh, so I imagine that's just going to slow them down, do some damage there. Uh, Tushper, I'm okay. I don't really need you to build anything as of yet. And, well, you keep looking. What's an Articona? Not a soul. Excellent. We march. We march. Right, so we will... Where can you get to? You can get to out there. You should be fine from there. Um, And you don't get aid. Oh, do you get aid from him? You do, actually. Bizarrely, you do. Um, Go further north and see if there's any reinforcements on the way. There is a small army, but this is... We're talking, like, small. Um, And this is depleted. I think this has been fighting people. I have no idea. But uh, we will upgrade my spy. Give him... We can have that, yep. Yeah. And he can have... Uh, have better line of sight. There you go. 
and then we'll end the turn and we'll see what is happening if uh Armenia wants to fight, it can fight. I really want armor setter off them. Oh, and Bactri is going to abandon Artaquona. An interesting play. Indeed. But we'll see. Oh, what is Armenia doing? Maybe they're going to go and defend armor setter. I don't know. But we'll strike one of their cities and I'll take it anyway. I'll take it by force if I have to. And we just had some sort of glitch there. <laughs> because all the names sort of just didn't move when... The map did. And there we go. Siege tower has been completed. Uh, hidden agents exposed. Oh no. Um, hidden agent exposed. But there's also one here. Oh, Armenia have got one in my... One of my... Uh, in Media. Okay, well we can deal with that. As and when. If we even need to. We might not even need to do that. Um, I'm going to... Put a temple tax in. I would like to carry on with growth. Uh, maybe like go down here. Certainly would be interesting to do, but it doesn't really help with money. Helps with growth. Growth's great, but not what I need. I'm going to go with Temple Tax and get, like, Cultural Conversion up. Try and help that. Um, because that also helps happiness. Uh, Persia, Early Spring. I bet they're unhappy because they've got a flipping Early Spring, aren't they? R when they really shouldn't be. They should really be like, yay. I should know they'd really like that. Good. I'm glad they like an Early Spring. It's We're in the, like, I don't know, Persia. This is always warm here. Um, you've got a cool trait. And then unhappy popula uh, populace at Carmania. I might just build the army here. Just to worry about public order. And then I can send it to Media. The one that I have destined for there anyway. So we're going to siege. Um, we're going to siege Artaquona. And then we're going to go with uh, something else. Uh, we'll send the other army up exactly to there. So we'll get... Um, We'll, we'll deal with that as and when. Uh, bam. Yeah, I'm going to build that that army that I was uh, mentioning. I do have a... I commend... I do have a guy from my dynasty, actually. Uh, I will take that guy from my dynasty. And I would like to splash the cash in giving you some immortals. But uh, I really can't afford to. I could give them elephants. But I like the cavalry. Cavalry isn't like the armies. is like really nice. And it's really useful. Um, purifying flames. I'll just give you some spears for now. And you can worry about the rest of your army. A little later, um, I don't know how many more um, like armies we can have. Oh, we can have one more. Okay, keep an eye on that. Um, Pergamon is raiding my lands. It's rude of them, I won't lie. But, uh, well, we can deal with it as and <laughs> We'll deal with them as well as and when, I guess. And uh, I want to see where that big stack went. Is it going to armor setter? It is. Okay, right, well... I'll keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that man that's doing that. And, uh... I could get this. I mean, it helps with public order. It doesn't really help with anything else. I mean, it gives me more garrison, which is great. Uh, but it doesn't help with tax. It's just not really what I want right now. Um... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know really what I want. Artaquona. I mean, it's got some good stuff again. I'm putting it under siege. It only has one turn to surrender. Wow. Um, we'll deal with them <laughs> sooner or later then. Oh, I should have sent my spy. Ah, here we go. This is pretty much, uh, well, a walkover. I'm just going to just take that. 88%. I don't even think I could get that many. That's a lot of Greeks that they have there. What was it made of? I mean, they're actually pretty poor. So, yeah, maybe I would have won that um, pretty easily. But I'll take it easily. I'll take it. With an auto resolve, uh, Artaquona is now mine, and we can now move on to say it, and we have a, a stab at Bactria as well if we fancy our chances. And Armenia is linking up with Pergamon, one of the weirdest, like, I don't know, weirdest things I've ever seen. I'm gonna just put the other army into Tushpa, basically just keep an eye on it because that is a large gathering of troops. I don't even think my small uh, army there could probably deal with it. I'm not sure. I, I might underestimate them a little bit. An agent has been found. Yes, right. Um, why are you starving? Oh, it's because it's really warm here, and we have no, f no s water anymore. That's very rude. Um, and yeah, okay. Look at like half of the world has now got extreme drought. That's a shame. Um, you can actually just move on to Susea then. Bactria seems like in full flight. 
Um, you actually stop starving if you go into Susea. You're probably better there then. Um, I'm going to destroy that. I'm going to change this into a... Uh, let's change it into a wind catcher. And then let's put in a... A royal large palace or a... I don't know, or a, a sat, sat trap large palace. Uh, I'm going to go with a royal large palace. There you go. can have that. Excellent. What have we got here? We actually have a royal large palace here as well in Persepolis. Solace. Maybe I don't want that. Maybe I want the growth. Hmm, I don't know. I've already got growth here with like the wind catchers. No, that's okay. Um, I don't really need any more growth going on. Too much growth is bad. Um, purifying flames. You're doing okay there. I still need to go and really send you down. So clearly, the, like the rebels here in Harmozi just disappeared. Um, Bactria still holds Pura. We'll need to deal with that as one as well. But uh, don't know when. But that's my. That is literally my like my motto for this um for this episode. As and when. Just keep repeating that. It'll uh, and then everything will go away. I'm sure. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we'll send the army down here. You can come and just meet up. That's a pretty elite army. They're not going to break through that. And tushpa has got a... I mean, his garrison's not there, but it's a, it's sort of there. I mean, this is a fairly strong force as well. And they've got a lot of cavalry. But their cavalry will actually be useful in this scenario because there's no walls here. If they go around, then that's not the end of the world. And I think I can stop any force. I mean, this is the largest force. 12... Against Armavir. Uh they're pretty bad as the garrison, but we also have like Bastion, like Scorpions and Blisters. We should be fine there. Um so I will I think end the turn for one final time. And uh yeah, we'll see what happens in this uh final end turn. Oh my my spy forgot to move. That's what he forgot to do. But it'll be interesting. I mean Etruria is destroyed. Oh that is something I didn't think of. Why are you so strong? Oh the garrison. I didn't think of that. I did not think of that. Uh, can you reach? You can. And you still get your garrison. Okay. Well, we might be in a little bit of trouble here then. Because they have a lot of pikes. I thought I could, was bold in sending this army out. I should have sent the larger army out. Why I didn't do that. Um, who knows? Um, but yeah, we might need a, like, a miracle here. So we're going to fight this battle. And we're going to uh, pray. To whatever gods that we can stop this. Um, but yeah. Um, we'll see what happens I guess. Uh, I guess I can try and get some general snipes. Or maybe with my cav. I've got some nice cav. Uh, I'm going to need a lot of hammer and anvils. I've not got enough infantry to win this fight. Um, it might be another. Might be another one sitting in the corner. Like in the last episode. Sadly. I hate doing it. I'd rather fight a more like genuine. Uh, tactics. But I'm fighting to win. I'm not going to uh, play fairly with these Bactrian scum. I mean, bounce power straight off the bat. We're looking good. I could, might actually try and rush this first bit of the uh, like the force coming in. I don't know where they're coming from. I presume behind them. Is there any good terrain? Ah, there's a hill over there. We'll use that. We'll use this hill. Uh, to our advantage. And hopefully we won't die. Uh, my general... I will keep back here. Worst comes to worst. Isn't, this is enough cavalry to do the job. Enough cavalry to do the job. Get it done. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Enemy reinforcements approaching. That's fine. Because I'm going to run down their first lot of men. Uh, where is their general? What are these Eastern Spearmen? Oh, we should run them down as well. Uh, there's their general. Okay. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is not going to be pleasant for them. Uh, I might need to engage these Bactrians head on. I don't know, but we'll see. We will engage them head on for now. And we'll pray that we can do enough. I'm going to pull pull these guys out and go for another charge. 
I mean, that was a pretty nice charge, actually. I won't lie, that was quite nice. If we can, I mean, we can get this. We need to deal with the Bactrian Noble Cavalry that they've got. And then uh, we go from there. We go from there, really. Hopefully we don't lose too many men in just trying to get out of these combats to recharge. Yes, move, move. Don't form your shield wall, you pesky men. Hopefully this can kill him. I don't know if it will. We're going to need a lot more charges than this. I should really be trying to use, like, trample and stuff like that, but we don't have it because we're not cataphracts. Um, right. You, uh, are you losing? You are losing, actually. Um, let's try and do another charge. This might not work, though. But we need to quickly because they're arriving at the enemy with their Bactrian Noble Horse. I don't know if this will do that much damage, though, to their general. Uh, oh god, right, charge there. Yeah, you're losing a lot of men here. Far too many. We might need to just fall back. Yeah, fall back. I think it's time to fall back. Fall back, cavalry. <laughs> it's getting a little too dicey for my liking. Go and run them, them first, though. Have some joy. Oh no, yeah, this is... I mean, we should beat these guys. Should beat these guys. I mean... There is a lot of them, though. And they're getting very close to our front lines. So, uh, yeah, just get over here. Form up the line and fast forward. We should... I mean, we... I keep saying should. Uh, they're active. Luckily, they've spared us. This cavalry could have chased us down easily and we would have been dead. Uh, we did a lot of damage to the general, but... Like, hardly any. We killed, like, 50 of his men. Uh, really, we need to kill a few more. They, they need to come in and attack us because they attacked. Um, that's, that's how the AI works in this game. But it should start to appear eventually. Lots of shoulds and coulds here, being said. Um, I'm going to put my cavalry over here in this, like, valley. Keep it hidden. Put it in the woods as well. Even more hidden. Hidden be beyond belief. Uh, my general, I kind of want to do the same. I'm going to stick him over here. If I can hide him. I don't know if you can hide the general. Thought the gym. Oh, no. I can hide the general. I can very much hide that general. And they've got carry on the flanks. Back to noble horse. Um, I would definitely engage the medium threat. So it's not the worst in the world. It's whether my spears can hold against... They're phalangites, which I'm going to say they can't because they're pikes against villagers. Uh, basically, these guys are glorified villagers. I could form square. I'm likely I'm going to form square. Mo morale, massive melee damage, uh, defense. Yeah, I'm definitely forming square. Even if it's not really the right formation to be forming against these guys, it's what I need to do currently right now. And uh, I need I can't think of anything else that would stop them. If I lose this army, I'll rebuild it to face Egypt, and my offensive in like against Bactria can be stopped. But I really need to like make some. I need to break away from Seleucids and then uh, make peace with some of my enemies. Even if it's Bactria at this point, I need to make peace with some people. Because I'm gonna make. Well, I'm gonna make more enemies doing that. I guess I could just wait till Bactria or, uh, or Seleucids get killed off, and I've just broken free. We'll see. Just can you keep moving forward? I know you want to walk and save energy, but I have a... I've got... I don't want to bore people by just waiting for you, basically. <laughs> uh, it's a bit rude. A bit rude of you. Go and move on. Uh, cavalry here. You can charge. This infantry is too far ahead now. I could, and it's also the eastern infantry, uh, villages. I'm not too scared of that. Our hidden units have been discovered. Our hidden units have been discovered. Great. I could form diamond. I mean, they're forming diamond, but they're going to get hit in the side in their diamond. And he also didn't get a charge off, so they should. Okay. There it is again. Should. <laughs> um, get killed. I mean, that's five units of cavalry. I don't know what else I can do. Uh, shoot every goddamn pike you can see. Shoot every... I'm targeting just pikes. There's nothing better I want to see 
than a dead pikeman right now. And um, they are actually shooting my slingers, which is very rude. Um, I will put you on skirmish mode, and you can start going skirmishing that cavalry over there. What is happening here? I mean, you are losing actually these noble horses. So it's only a matter of time until we beat them. Um, we will just hold like this for now. I'm going to wait till the pikes actually attack. I don't know if they will. If they're going to stay in loose formation like this, then uh, that works with me. If we just dictate the battle, and uh, oh, we are getting shot on the side a lot though. Go over there and go and kill some infantry for me. Uh, you also go and deal with these guys, because they're very annoying. Come on, kill this cavalry. This cavalry is literally like a god at the moment. Did we just break one of the spears? We did just break one of the spears. Oh my god. We might have a chance. There is always a small chance, especially if you're fighting against pikes. Uh, yeah, general, shoot this guy. If they're going to form flipping... What is the chances of you? Your high threat. Oh god, maybe I shouldn't do that. No, we're forming square. I said it earlier. Um, let's just pause. I've been too busy with my cavalry to be thinking what I was going to do with my infantry. Right, all the archers, or slingers, get back there. You form that, you form that, and you form that. And you're going to hide behind them for your goddamn lives. Uh, you go up there, and then let's go. General, you were supposed to run away. I don't know what you don't understand by that. If I can retreat him over here, then I can just use the archers to focus these guys down. There you go. That's enough. Shoot these guys. I don't want you in skirmish mode anymore. Shoot them. Uh, pikes. Shoot them. Shoot those levy phalangites. Shoot every phalangite you find. Don't want to see a single one left. Uh, finally, we broke that cavalry. Good. We can do stuff. We can actually go and kill stuff. Right, go and get those slingers. They're really annoying. And then we can just run stuff down in the back now because it's all engaged against my stupid spears. Um, are you winning that cavalry fight? I don't know. Yeah, uh, yes and no. Just shoot them. Keep shooting. Uh, careful, careful, careful. Eastern villagers, charge them. They're fine. Charge. We'll be careful. We've got to be careful at this point. The men are wavering. Who's wavering? I would rather it was the cavalry than infantry, in all honesty. Oh, yeah, it's because they're just getting munched up by the pikes. Uh, I might lose this army. <laughs> I might lose this army. We will see. Uh, shoot these guys in the back. General, you freed up. You're freed up. Excellent. Just at the right time as well. And what is this? Militia hoplites. I'll shoot them in the back. Militia hoplites haven't engaged yet. Eastern villages need a recharge. Uh, I could do, I could really do with a, a bit of a miracle. I won't lie. Um, fall back. Shoot these men. Oh, if you fall back, you break. Yep, should not have thought of that. Inspire men. Get them inspired. They can hold their line. Cavalry. Uh, Keep moving. Oh, they're just getting shot up by all these flipping slingers that are still alive. Which I thought I'd finished. Right, get them. Oh my, yeah, this army's finished. Yeah, I did my best, but it's not going to be enough. And this is a garrison army as well, so who's this? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh, well, it was it was a good effort. It was a good effort. Well, uh, I can, can do no more, really. I can do no more. I will try and get there, General. But, yeah, I thought everything was going to just break there and then. And there you go. Our first defeat. Um, yeah, there's not much else I can do from that. Uh, my cavalry did well. My spears did not. <laughs> yeah, but how do I face pikes? I can't. Uh, that's the Persian limits. They need to uh, get around the pikes by charging cavalry. And uh, they did not. So uh, I will quickly end the turn and, well... Um, we will end the episode. But yeah, I mean, they're going to cut this this boy down now, sadly. Oh no, you can retreat again. Oh, well, he's very lucky. This army survives to live another day. Though it probably shouldn't. 
Um, that's lucky. That is lucky. I will keep him there for a moment. I may recruit some mercs. And yeah, Armenia sent everything back northwards, which I expected it was going to do, so I'll just send my army back north. And uh, we will deal with that as, uh, well, in the next episode, really. As we uh, wrap this one up. So we have to uh, pick a new general. Um, I could have him. I could have Inspire. Yeah, we'll go with this guy. He's got an interesting name. Um, yeah, they will give him the Cavalry General. Uh, concealed Army Discovered. Okay, yeah, that's um, thingy. Uh, attrition. Oh, it's because of being it being too hot. So, well, that's un that's not useful, but there. Uh, Armour here, you can go back there. We can go and push on for Susea now. And I will. Um, I think Susea is, and it's in a different region. It's actually, I can't take this. Wow. Um, can I get round to him? If I force march, could I get round? I can. I'm going to recruit some mercs, though, first. Uh, let's get all these horse archers. How much do they cost? Uh, I'm not going to keep them. Um, we'll just swing our way around. And there we go. An easy victory. An easy victory. And there. We've undone. We've uh, sort of... I guess what have we done? Got revenge. Of, avenged our defeat there. And our loss of our general. Uh, we can take Susea. Articorn should be okay for a turn on its own. Yeah, it loves us. It loves us. Um, and I'll build an infantry camp here. Because um, that's what I'd like. It's something in the east to build infantry. Uh, I'll get rid of all this cavalry. And this uh, infantry of my own. I don't need it. I'll just build some of my own. And you can start looking back to it, I guess. Go and see what's there. And I need to replace you with you. You with... Um, uh, I guess I'll do horse archers. Get better horse archers on the go. And there is an Egyptian army that's loitering in my lands. It could go for Gazaka. What is the army made up of? Not great. Not great stuff. What's Gazaka's stuff look like? It looks okay, to be fair. I mean, if it goes for... Mm, actually, maybe I'm okay. Maybe I'm not too worried about them attacking Gazaka. This Now knowing what their army's made up of, it's like just militia hoplites. Could do with a little bit of cav. A little bit of cav never goes uh, unwarranted. I might build this next army we're going to need. Uh, or just Bam. How's Bam looking? Bam's still not looking great. Uh, we have an army here. Could march on Farada. But I mean, we, this is a... Pff, and it's not actually that great a garrison at all. But his army I don't think is that healthy either. So we should be okay. We may have a lot of garrison defending to do in the next episode. Um, I'm going to build... Hmm. No, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not. I think I'll be fine. I'm going to just have a lot of garrison building to do. But anyway, Legionnaires, if you enjoyed, please remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and don't forget to leave a comment to show your support. We're trying to hit that 2k uh, milestone for the phase reveal, so do remember to sub. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.